Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. Last time, we meet Danny, we visit the shrine, we skip stones. We're going through this weird portal, portal now. This is it, Zach. A Deadly Premonition. Hey, wait, that's the name of the game. You know, for some reason, I'm getting butterflies. How about you? It's time we went and saw this other world for ourselves. Okay. A deadly premonition. Investigate the singularity. Fatal omen. Oh, Force if I'm more close. Hmm. Oh, okay, that was quick at least. I was getting really upset. Zach, the countryside is always so entertaining. It has far more stimuli to offer than the big city. Alright. This place looks like fun. We Those have... movies from the 80s were all predicting the future. Life's simpler than what philosophers make it out to be. In the end... Nothing here, I bet. Okay, so that's how we deal with those. More coffee, that's what I need right now. Alright, so this place is kind of spooky, kind of similar to... Where's that one at? Before we go that way, I didn't hit that button. There was this door. And I want to make sure we get all some good items here. That could come in handy. Stamina. I think that's what I really would want to upgrade more than anything. If I could run faster and farther. I 
have two ways I can go. That's red. There is no little map. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. This is actually just a bonus area. More bullets because it hurts. Way too many for this. So let's see what the part two has in store for us. Huh? Hmm. Zach, I sense something here. Nope, oh, something investigating, Tom. Wait, what? Lise was murdered here. Huh? Let's take a closer look and find out exactly what went on. She was murdered here. Red powder. This must be Saint Rouge. But for some reason, it looks more vibrant than all the specimens we've gathered so far. Hmm. More. More. I want more. Aren't you just a kid? Zach, Lisa's limbs were severed while she was still alive. But she's smiling. She must not have been able to feel any pain. Saint Rouge isn't that powerful of a drug. At least it shouldn't be. And look, Zack. Another dragonfly. The tattoo is just to the side of her navel. She always carried the mark of a Clarkson with her, wherever she went. Okay, I mean, that's... Wow, it's amazing. I can feel it. Thank you, Lena. Zack, the murder weapon was an axe. Lise must have been dismembered while she was still alive. And the woman holding the axe... Flashy clothes, beautiful face, and that dragonfly ring. This must be Lisa's mother, Galena Clarkson. Look, Zach. She's crying. It's the polar opposite of Lisa's euphoric expression. Galena is brandishing an axe while tears stream down her face. What was going on in her head? <sighs> okay. Let's get started. This is gonna be so... Fun. <laughs> Remember how you used to play with dolls when you were a baby, honey? <laughs> Yay! I love dolls. Uh, what are you? Zach, there's a tall woman here. Very stylish. She'd stick out like a sore thumb in this town. Is she watching the murder? No. She's clearly more than an innocent spectator. She must be deeply entwined with this case somehow. <laughs> Lise, you're so beautiful. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yay! I'm a little dolly. I'm a little dolly. That's it, Lise. It'll all start from you. Now you'll never die. You'll be eternal. Just wait for me, Lise. I'll be with you soon. I'll always be with you. Dolly. 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 Oh. Yeah, I need money. Lise Clarkson was murdered here. After she died, she was carried to the spot underneath that bridge. Why did the killer feel the need to move her? Bodies are usually only moved to cover up evidence, but this is different. Lisa's body was enshrined. She was being shown off to someone.
the ritual, the altar, a mother killing her child, a monstrous giant, and a mysterious stylish woman. There's a real demon out there, and it's got its sights set on the Clarksons. Hmm. <laughs> But, Zach, this is exactly the kind of case we FBI agents are here to solve. Isn't that right? Yeah, I guess so in this scenario. Two healing items and ammo. If I know game logic like... I know game logic. I would say we're in for a bad time. Let's see, a phone, a thing, and another door. I'm gonna say we're gonna fight a boss here. Because I don't remember when we actually fought the first boss. So I remember fighting the first boss in this game, but I don't remember how far it was, and I want to say it's actually coming up. you live. Okay, anti numb sounds really useful. Okay, how many bullets do they expect you to go through at this point in the game? I 
have 500 bullets. Okay, I got 550 bullets. Okay, what the freak? I mean, I knew one was gonna spawn now. I don't know why it's not. They have 38 HP and some of them can take more than 38. But Okay. I'm like what I got. I can't use you yet because I don't have anything. We're gonna go ahead and save just because I got a feeling we're about to have a bad time. Ah, oh, the auto saves adventure takeover. Hmm. Well, let's just go on through portal number three. What the freak is this? Reminds me of the, the boss of the first game. My reaction. I did it. I really did it. I finally completed the first ritual. Now the plan will begin. The Red One's plan will begin. Zach, this case is going to be a labyrinth. I certainly didn't expect to run into a monster like this. Honestly, I'm not one for violence, but I'm not just going to stand here and die. What do you think? Should we read off her rights? Now, it's the Red One's turn. The Red One. Soon, soon. And in the end, we'll be together. <laughs> together. <laughs> Bizarre utternesses? And the Red, Red, Red. Oh, she's Red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Killed Lise. I did just as I was told. I killed her. So pure, adorable, and beautiful. I killed my own baby. Lise! Lise! You son of a bitch! What did you do to my daughter? Well? That was easy. Why? 
what are you? No, it can't be. Came here to stop our plan. You can't stop us now. We already made our sacrifice. You don't know how much we sacrificed. How many tears of blood we cried. All for the Red One's plan. <laughs> We've come so far. The Red One gave me the honor of lighting the flame. I'm not gonna let you stop me here! Okay, Galena. You're mad at me. The freak are you? Galena, <laughs> is this your true form? Gosh, Hollywood would have been all over you. Although you probably would have been typecast as a gross monster. The kind that heroes always kill. We going to make a new world! And no one's going to stop us! Okay, so I wish I was kidding. Her weakness is her dude. Feel my no. Seriously, like happening. How? Oh, I'm hitting the head of the dragonfly. It's not necessarily her boobs. It's the dragonfly. That's one of them. more of a I mean Let's get out of here. I mean, that was a fight. Kind of reminds me of like the uh, the other fi the woman firebender in Avatar. I'm not good at names. The 
peace. <laughs> our, our new world. <laughs> my lease. <laughs> my sweet little Dolly. Galena Clarkson? You are now under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Lise Clarkson and the illegal disposal of her corpse. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. <sighs> That's enough, Zack. She can't hear us anymore. Zack, pardon my language, but this case can go fuck itself. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Mm -mm. I owe you one, Mr. York. I'm awful sorry you had to get all caught up in our town's dirty laundry. It happened. I didn't expect you to catch the criminal this soon, though. You never fail to impress me. Come on, CLG. Let's head back to the office. Mr. York and I both got a lot of cleanup work to take care of. <sighs> now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna tell the Clarksons. That's my biggest problem. Melvin, this investigation has only just begun. What? What? But we got the killer. This case is much more complicated than it seems. You mean you're gonna keep searching the town? Of course. At the moment, I'm after a tall, stylish woman. Does that ring any bells? Stylish? Uh, you lost me. What's that got to do with anything? Zack and I saw her with our own eyes. We need to find her, I'm positive. You're probably talking about Professor R. Professor R? From the jazz bar? Yeah. I mean, she's the only person in town you could call stylish. She's tall, too. But... What is it, Melvin? Uh... Well... Um... Well? Out with it. Don't let your ten-year-old daughter upstage you here, Sheriff. Correct. You're looking for a stylish woman, right? Oh. Are we going here? Yes, we've established that. Then I think you're barking up the wrong tree with Professor R. She isn't exactly a normal woman, if you catch my drift. I remember reading that there was a, uh, some transphobic comments, and I think this is not exactly the comment they're talking about, but... I hear you loud and clear. Melvin, you're careless in every sense of the word, but I believe you operate on the side of good in most cases. With that in mind, I'm disappointed to see that you carry some prejudice with you. Uh, but I, uh... Is she the type to forbid customers from entering her jazz bar due to the color of their skin? <laughs> no, she ain't like that. Well then, case closed. Melvin, I think we should call it a day. I'm going to head back to my hotel and get some sleep. I also need to prepare a report to send back to the Bureau. Patty, thank you very much for assisting me in my investigation. I'll be counting on you again tomorrow. I just helped an FBI agent. Oh, and Melvin, one more thing. You needn't worry about what to tell the Clarksons. I'm sure they already know that Galena's been arrested. After all, this is Lucare. That's a good point. We're already... Done here? Huh. I'm part of disappointed? Huh. Actually, we haven't been to the Sheriff's Office yet, either. What do you have the vending machine? Coffee, root beer. Root beer doesn't have caffeine in it. We've been over that. We've established this the last episode. There's a lot more people here than I would expect at a small town police department. Okay. Again, I know how deadly premonition works. The game is going to do a massive cutscene when we get to our room. So obviously, 
probably call it here for 30 minutes. And next time on Deadly Premonition 2, we will tackle on... Well, I think maybe the end of the chapter? End of the episode, and then we can move on. I'll see you guys then.